Are you immersed in a sea of business advice and education, but not sure what to embark on first? Instead of adding to the ocean of information, we're here to help you navigate it like a pro. The Wayfinding Growth Podcast will help you take a deep dive into new actionable strategies, tools, and tactics to help you grow. So start charting a course for business growth as you explore a better way to grow further, faster, with your hosts, Remington Begg and George B. Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, we're back once again because we couldn't stay away at least for too long. Welcome to Wayfinding Growth. Now, here's the thing. On the welcome, I have to say, Remington, we have a new head with us today. This is going to get interesting, folks. There's Big some one. things changing. Yeah. What's up, Remington? So, um, so this is fun. So I get to introduce you to Dan the Man Moyle over Ooh. here. What? What? but um and and i'm really excited so dan joined the team a couple months ago now and he's heading up all the marketing at impulse creative he's like dedicated to us and us alone which is fantastic and uh so with that some changes are afoot so george has been very much focused you might have heard a thing called sprocket talk um you can go to sprockettalk.com if you don't know what we're talking about Yes, but um, but one of one of those said things is he's spending a lot of time on that, and of course, serving our clients at Impulse Creative. So he is um, he is going to be focusing very heavily. Actually, me too, but him primarily very heavily on Sprocket Talk. And so with that, wayfinding growth was uh, quasi set aside, or we'll just go ahead and call it season one. George yeah. was a part of. Yeah. So for those of you that know, like, and love George, which many of us do, he's not going anywhere from an agency point of view. But if you <laughs> want to see him on a podcast point of view, and he might come guest every once in a while, you're going to have to go oh, over Sprocket Talk. That would be good. I would love so. to, I would love to guest, to be a yeah. guest. Uh, at. You know, here's the fun thing is, Wayfinding growth has always been about uh, business growth. And, and what's fun, Remington and, and Dan, and Dan, by the way, we need to circle back around and just give you some time to yeah. explain to the people, to the viewers, the folks watching this, like who you are and why you are so mighty, why you're a superhero at Impulse Creative. Um, but, but Remington and Dan, this podcast has always been about business growth. And I think that we would, we would just be um, remiss if we didn't talk about part of business growth is being a transition specialist. And if you go back uh, episodes ago when Remington and I interviewed Dean Delisle, he actually talked about the fact of being a transition specialist and myself. And so Sprocket Talk, Wayfinding Growth, transitioning more of my time out of Wayfinding Growth into Sprocket Talk, um, that is one of these transitions. But Remington, I had to laugh uh, because before the show and kind of almost pseudo there, you made it a point to say that I'm not going anywhere because some of the viewers, not all, but some of the viewers may realize that the last time I left a podcast- Just over a year ago. (laughs) I left a company. Not happening this time. Just don't even think about it. I'm simply going to focus to transition into this thing that is HubSpot, this thing that is sales, marketing, service, and helping people grow through a deeper level of education in that niche area. Now, Dan, with that said, so people can actually sleep tonight, let's talk about (laughs) why you are a superhero at Impulse Creative, who you are, kind of what you're doing, and maybe even the the course that you are thinking of charting when it comes to the new seasons of Wayfinding Growth. Yeah, so uh, I didn't realize you were going to call me a superhero or I had to grab my Superman Snuggie that I got because oh. I have one. That's awesome. Learn things. We learn That's things. Awesome. Yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah, man, uh, man, I'm so excited to be here at Impulse Creative in general, but also on the podcast. So, so I've known Remington and, and George, I've known you guys for years. In fact, listeners and viewers. I was a fan of George way back at that other podcast and ran into him at inbound and was like, George, I gotta, I gotta say hi, man. And so, and then Remington and Rachel as the co-founders of impulse, I've been following that, that whole journey for a long time as well. So when I joined the team, man, super stoked to be here. Um, I don't know if this is why I'm a superhero, but I've been doing marketing 
for like 10 years now, and it's been mostly involved in the HubSpot world, very inbound focused. I love this idea of, of storytelling and inbound marketing and content. So um, that's why I'm here. And, and I've actually, before Impulse, I worked at an agency uh, that helped people get on podcasts. So podcast interview marketing. And that's where, like I started my podcast, the Storytellers Network. That's where I began to get involved in other people's podcasts. Um, I produce a one for a nonprofit. I'm doing this one. So I am like a podcast junkie. <laughs> so, so to join this team and to take over the, the, the helm as it were, take over the wheel from George, uh, very excited about that. And, and yeah, and I think, you know, I, I've loved to see the growth of, of wayfinding growth. That's like a, this inception thing, right? This growth of the growth show. Uh, and, and, and hear the interviews with other marketers and, and business leaders. And I think, so when, when I joined the team, Remington and I were talking and George were talking, the direction of the show is going to shift just a little bit back to the wayfinding growth side of it. Not just, I don't want to say not just the marketing, but like it's become pretty marketing heavy, which has been great and very informational. Uh, but there's a ton of marketing podcasts. And, and I'd like to see this based on the idea of wayfinders within entrepreneurial and innovative roles. And so we're going to be talking with bringing examples of tenacious, creative, inspirational business owners, entrepreneurs who have been in the throes of entrepreneurialism. Is that a word? Entrepreneurial. It is now. It is now. Oh my goodness. I'm a writer. I make up words. That works. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, but, but I want to, those who are in the throes of that every day, who are still there, who have come through on the other side of, you know, the, 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 the hard work, those who are still in it, those who have great stories of defeat that turn into winning, you know, whatever that is. So I'm excited to, to bring that show. In fact, it was funny because just before recording, we were talking about some of the struggles that entrepreneurs face mm. <laughs> and George, you man, yeah. like, I just want to create, I don't want to do what I love. And so I want to hear that from entrepreneur entrepreneurs and, and business owners and, and business leaders. Why do you love what you do? Because it ain't for me. <laughs> mm. and, yeah. Yeah, and, and see, this excites me. Like this whole, this whole transition, this whole journey excites me because I know, I know that uh, Wayfinding Growth will be a podcast that I'll listen to. Like I'll make sure that I listen to it because here's the thing. I don't know if viewers and listeners, you just kind of paid attention to what happened, but Dan is rooted, is based in this thing of story. And, and, and we hang around and we talk to people that we, you know, hang around with. And, and Dan mentioned, you know, it's kind of marketing focused. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm a marketer. Like I hang around with other marketers. Like if I'm going to get guests on the show, it's probably going to be from a marketing perspective, right? <laughs> so the fact that Wayfinding Growth is going to take this giant leap and it's going to be very story based and it's going to use words that I would never have used. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and therefore it's just going to have this dramatic change. Like I get super excited of what's coming next. There's some really cool things that we've been discussing and we're really stoked about for all the viewers and listeners about what's coming up is, you know, there's this, there's this mix of, and we've had some really great interviews and, and George and I have had conversations, you know, back to back to back on, that's one thing that we absolutely love about this show. Like we're learning every single time we get someone in and it's like either a unique perspective or it's a confirmation. And I think that as an entrepreneur, when you feel like you're alone on an Island, that unique perspective and that confirmation are two really, really powerful things. So, so that's not going to change. It's what we're just doing is widening this up a little bit so that it doesn't feel as marketing heavy. And it's really driving towards like, you know, challenges. Like we want to be straight, right? Candor. Like we want to be like, wow, that really sucked. How do we not do that again? But at the same time, we want to be talking about those things that inspire growth. So I got to be honest with you guys. There's going to be a section of this that I'm going to miss. Like I absolutely miss. And that's the unpacking the mm. episodes. Like I loved kind of making myself, forcing myself to listen uh, numerous times over and over again to, to the podcast and really dig for those nuggets. So with that said, uh, and I know it's not our notes and Dan, this is just how I roll. Yeah. I want to unpack a couple of things that just happened uh, in this podcast right now. One is, I don't know if you rewind and you listen to when Dan was doing his thing a couple minutes ago, he mentioned the word podcast 
podcast, podcast, numerous times working for a podcast. I got a podcast, this podcast. If you're watching this and listening to this and you don't have a podcast, I really want you to sit down and I want you to think of the pros and cons of creating audio and or video and audio content for your company. And if it's actually a way that you should be educating your consumer, and if you don't know, then by all means, you can contact me, Remington Dan. We can talk you, walk you through this because it is a beautiful way to create content and to almost network as you're interviewing these folks and, and bring forward thought leadership. So that's one. Yeah. I want you to think about should I, as a viewer or listener, be creating my own type of content in my own industry and niche. The other part is when Remington was talking about being on an island. Listen. Being on an island, being all alone, feeling lost without a map, without a compass, without a way or a place to go, no course charted, is not a good place to be as an entrepreneur. So I, I think that one of the pieces, one of the magic pieces to what's going to happen moving forward is that you're going to have guides that will come along with you along the way. And, and I would hope that there would be emails sent to Dan and emails sent to Remington of like, man, I'm really struggling with this. Thanks for that episode. Or this thing is really like just, it's killing me in my business. Is there somebody that you might be able to interview to help with like the whole conversation? Like, here's the thing. Think about, think about Castaway, the show. Like if you're talking to a volleyball right now, if you're talking to a volleyball about your business, talk to Dan and Remington. There you That's go. That's all I'm going to say. So as we go into like bringing you back to the Wayfinding Growth Show, let's, let's talk about those navigational tools and what we're, what we're going to be using and what we're going to be doing for, moving forward, Dan. What, one of the biggest tools I think is internal stories. Okay. So I love, I love how what you guys used to do or what you guys have done with Wayfinding Growth of the, here's the show and then here's the recap. I think it's very interesting. But what I, what I, what I want to shift instead a little bit and use the tool of internal stories, we'll have interviews, then we'll have internal stories. Because I really think that the impulse creative journey is mm -hmm. such a huge thing. You know, we recently moved headquarters from one town to another. And there's so many things that we can unpack there, right? There, why did we move? What's, what's the deal with going from a big space to a, a little bit smaller space? Don't you grow? Much Every agency smaller. wants to grow. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, so there's a whole lot to unpack there, you know, and, and why going from what we've always known in a neighborhood to this new neighborhood and what does that mean? And, and what about, uh, you know, uh, distributed team, virtual employees, right, remote work. So the, the, the tool of internal stories, I think is going to be huge. Um, and then also, you know, you know, the difference in how George and I talk about the show George says viewers, I talk about listeners. It's both. George, I love what you said about launch your own show. We, we call it a podcast because we're on all these audio platforms, but in reality, we're recording this in video. So if you're listening in audio, go to YouTube, go to our, our video channel and check it out because you can see us and it's really cool. But then if you're driving, you can listen and not watch, mm. hopefully, right? Yeah. Uh, mm. So, so yeah, don't do that. It's not yeah. safe. <laughs> so the, the tool of thinking of this as an audio show is, is maybe going to change a little bit, right? We're going to talk about listeners a whole lot more. Um, but the reality is if you create it in video, you now have video and audio and text and snippets and social posts and images and, 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 and. Um, so yeah, that's a couple of the tools I think that we're going to be using. Sweet. Yeah, I love that. And Remington, I'm just going to say one quick thing, then you can jump in oh. here. What, what, what Dan just referenced, by the way, because just because we're starting season two does not mean that season one did not happen. And what Dan was just referencing is upcycling. And if you want to learn more about upcycling, you need to go back and listen to the episode with Brian Fanzo. Mm. He crushed it. It was mind blowing. You know, the other one that I know Remington without a doubt has probably listened to five bazillion times is the episode with Joey Coleman. So just yep. because this might be the beginning of your journey with us, uh, you know, go back and look at some of the historical or listen to some of the historical ones, but definitely start to pay attention to what is about to happen. And hopefully, you know, I, 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 won't, I don't have quite the, the encyclopedia brain that George has in the past episodes, but, but Remington, you might, but being able to reference those too. I, absolutely. This, is, this yeah. has been a, a journey of you guys. This is episode 39 right now. So like we got almost 40 episodes of, of great content. And that's another reason why create your own show. So, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, so what kind of what kind of things um, 
are we changing? What are some of those Bermuda Triangle, to bring it back, Bermuda Triangle issues that we're going to be avoiding here moving into the next, uh, into the next season, Dan? I mean, my hope is to avoid the, you know, the things like the confusion. I like how you said earlier about George not leaving. You know, we are all partners in this thing called Impulse Creative. Um, I mean, partners in the sense that we're a team, right? We work together. Yeah, we work together. Um, it, but but we're, we're, we're all family. Part, we're family. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all family here. Um, sure. And so so, quote unquote, losing George. Air quotes for those of you just listening. Um, we're not losing him, right? I don't want that to be a stumbling block for anybody going, well, where's George? I mean, I think we're going to still have great content. So that's one of my concerns. One, one of the, that would be a Bermuda Triangle, right? We lose the audience because we lose George. And I don't want that to happen. So if you're listening, don't leave us. Give us a shot. Give me a shot. Yeah. Um, and just, and two, like the, the, a little bit of a, of a pivot, if you were. And whenever I say that, for those fans of Friends, I always think of Ross yelling pivot when they were moving the couch. Pivot! But anyway, I digress. Um, well, you know, that's actually funny because through hiring, you know, we've got 15 people at Impulse Creative. Through hiring every single one of them, the only constant is that I'm changing things. Like I blow shit up all yeah. the time. Yeah. Right. So, so when that, when we're talking about that, this essentially, what the cool thing is, is I'm not the one blowing this up. It's you guys blowing this up. <laughs> but this is great because it allows for those fresh perspectives and it allows for us to I'm really excited about going wider. Like I had a conversation with another professional, huge company, and they're asking specific questions about how to, how to be more strategic in their business and how to hire more strategically. And then part of me is like, Oh, I'm a 15 person company. Like, what do you mean? But they're just so blown away at the kind of stuff that we're doing. Like there's, so, so there's so much that I think we can talk about that isn't marketing. Cause She's talking about her marketing team, but she didn't actually mention the word marketing at all because that wasn't the problem she's having. And I can't wait to unpack that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Well, we'll, we'll make that one of the episodes, one of the internal ones. Take, yeah. take a note on that one for you. <laughs> Boom. I mean, together we're going to be, you know, you're going to see a lot of fresh content coming out. We're going to go back to being weekly. We're sorry for kind of ghosting you at the end there. We do have a jam pack. We released all of the rest of the episodes that we had lined up. Um, and those episodes are available for you right now if you did miss them. Um, yep. So we've got a lot of really great content out there. And I could see us absolutely referencing uh, previous episodes and a lot of what we got going on here in the future. Mm -hmm. And yes, George, it'll probably be Joey Coleman's episode amongst a few others. Um, even Dan's episode around storytelling and stuff. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot here. He was a guest for those of you that may recognize his voice before he is now becoming a co-host. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That goes way back, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. What, what? That was a fun episode. I really enjoyed it. That was way back when I was at that podcast marketing agency podcast interview marketing agency and so like that goes a ways back for me that was fun yeah. yeah uh yeah i just want to take really good care of this show that you two created um you know you brought in these listeners and viewers and i just want to take care of this this, this child that you birthed i don't know <laughs> no i want to i want to take care of this this great show that you guys created and and really do it justice um and just yeah. inspire people to, to to grow with us you know well, here's the thing that that to me is the least of my worries, Dan. I, I know you that you are so focused in community, so focused in storytelling, so focused on trust and helping people grow. I mean, that's literally your job. Like you are hired to help us grow. And now because of that, you're going to be able to help hundreds, if not thousands of other companies grow by the great content that you and Remington have created or will create. Uh, and I just want to say, as we kind of sum this up and kick it off and, and get out of here, uh, it's been my absolute pleasure uh, creating historical episodes. Remington, you know, we always have a ball. It's been a blast. Again, if you, if you fast forwarded past the intro, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still at Impulse Creative, just focusing on Sprocket Talk. It's time to transition, put the pedal to the metal, uh, but Wayfinding Growth will always have uh, a near and dear uh, spot in my heart as historical you, and man. moving forward. Love you, man. <laughs> love you too. I love it too. No, it's going to be awesome. So, and for those of you that might be listening to this, your first episode, you can go to wayfindinggrowth.com. There's a place to subscribe there. We've got links to all the iTunes and the Spotify's and the what have you's over there. So go ahead and get subscribed and we cannot wait to see you on the next episode.